we are tracking some storms. Yeah, that's right. So when we talk about flooding, I want to make a note that we are not under any sort of flood watch with the storm system that's coming on down, uh, simply because the rain is going to come a little bit quick. However, there still is going to be the impact, obviously, to the San Diego River, maybe an inch or so uh, overflows there for a very short amount of time. Let's go ahead and get right into it for your storm forecast. Uh, starting off right now, you do not see any rain on your screen, but this will change by the time we get to tomorrow night. We will all be talking about not only the precipitation, but the snow and the wind. In fact, there is a winter storm watch as well as a high wind watch that are up uh, for portions of the county, for the mountains, as well as into the deserts, primarily really because of the wind speeds gusting occasionally between around 50 to 75 miles per hour. So think about that. That is pretty damaging, right? If you have any sort of power pull out there, it can obviously knock that down and cause some destruction there. The snow is not going to be a big event, maybe only one to two inches uh, for our local mountains. A little bit higher, though, as far as snow, to snow totals go up to our mountains, maybe near San Bernardino. So if you want to plan a ski trip, maybe by the time you get to Wednesday when the system's on out of here, that'll be nice to do. Radar sweeping clear right now. Just get, picking up some ground clutter. This as well is going to change, I'd say, in about 12 hours. Temperature-wise, we are looking at the low 60s for the coastline, mid to upper 60s for El Cajon. You're at 66 degrees. When that cold front moves through on Tuesday, it will drop temperatures, bringing the rain as well as the wind. We do have one storm system first off. You can notice the jet stream further to our south. The subtropical jet stream has a lot of moisture to work with. So we're going to actually see a little impulse right on in for us Monday, tomorrow. That one I'm going to provide maybe about a 20% chance of rain. So just sort of a little bit of the sprinkle activities, maybe some light showers to come on down. It's this cold front that is really a fairly significant. That was the storm system that will arrive into San Francisco on Tuesday morning, arrive through us uh, by Tuesday as well, and then push out over toward Arizona. Uh, really going to increase our wind speeds as well as dropping our temperatures. Here's your rain forecast by 5 a.m. Remember, this is impulse number one, the very light stuff, right? So I think we actually have a 20% chance of rainfall uh, that's going to come on down through the region. You can see by around 1130, this is, I think, the best chance, especially for the coastline. So here, pinpointing out over toward National City, drawing a line out over toward Ramona. If you do have to drive, it looks to be okay. You might just need your windshield wipers uh, for the most part. And then as we head through the evening hours, another 20% chance of rain now because that cold front's going to get a little bit closer to us. So we start noticing the shower activity pick up in Escondido, Carlsbad, and rolling out through Poway. Now when we get through Tuesday morning, you're waking up. Not only because you hear the rain, but the wind is howling outside. It's going to be blowing those tree branches everywhere. And this block of yellow, fairly intense rain, also could be delivering thunderstorms. So while we are looking at a 100% chance of rainfall, in there, a 20% chance that we could be dealing with some thunderstorms. Obviously, this covering portions of I-5, 805, uh, the 15 and the 8. If you have early work meetings, maybe you can go ahead and have them delayed, considering it's going to take a lot of people uh, quite a long time to get to work, considering how what the roads are going to be and just traffic. We all know how Californians drive in the rain. And then by around 1 o'clock, we might get a smidget of a break. So keep that in mind, although still calling for really a 40% chance of rain to continue. And even by the evening hours now, yet again, another chance of thunderstorms for us for your dinner uh, plans in Escondido, Poway, and rolling through even uh, into Del Mar. Now, the rain is going to stay with us until early Wednesday morning. By 6.30, we drop that rain chance just down to right about 20%. We'll see those clouds clear out, and we'll see a little bit more sunshine out there as well. But that sunshine is actually going to be fairly cool uh, behind that cold front. So here's what you need to know. The heaviest rain Tuesday afternoon, rainfall rates going anywhere between half an inch to one inch an hour. The coast and inland wind sustained 15 to 30. We could see some gusts a little bit higher than that, and obviously the mountains and deserts dealing with those gusts potentially 75 miles per hour. Temperatures are going to fall about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal for us, really feeling that cold air on Wednesday. Tonight, though, before we get those storm systems on down, we're warm into the mid-50s for the coast. Inland areas right around 51 in El Cajon, 57 for you in La Mesa. Usually we're down on into the 40s. Tomorrow also another warm day because that first storm system's coming in from the south. Not only is it going to pick up moisture and clouds and a little bit of rain, but it's picking up a little bit of heat as well. So we'll actually go to 70 in National City in downtown Poway at around 71 and 75 in El Cajon. Remember that cold air doesn't arrive with that 
storm system on down for Tuesday and really feeling the effects of the chillier air on Wednesday. 7 day forecast tomorrow, 70 degrees. We're down to 65 Tuesday, even colder Wednesday at 61 as the rain wraps up. And then by next weekend, we're back above average to the mid 70s. Inland areas, you're going to see just a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. It's going to be warm. Colder air, thunderstorms on your Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we wrap it up. But this is the chilliest air. And you'll notice a little bit more sunshine coming on out. Mount community is 59 degrees and staying into the lower 50s until you get to Thursday. Desert communities, you're looking at the 70s for tomorrow, down to the 60s, but rebounding to the 80s by Friday. And again, if you're in that burn area of the lilac fire, mm -hmm. you do want to get your sandbags ready right. because there could be possibilities of flooding. Yes, there is. Just simply because of the, the burning uh, aspect. No other area, I don't think, in California or in Southern California, San Diego County, let's say, <laughs> really has to deal with the threat of flooding as much as, as that one particular location. I think other areas where they saw the fires in L.A. County, that's a bigger concern. Okay, and before we let you go, we just want to allow our viewers to know and say goodbye that you're yes. leaving. This is her last day with us. It is my last day We have here. enjoyed yep. you so much, your enthusiasm mm -hmm. and your energy <laughs> and your beauty. Agreed. My beauty. <laughs> so where, where can we find you? Can we still find you on social media? Or? Uh, yes. So you can still follow me at Sabrina Fine on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And I'm just going to be at home with my little munchkins, taking care of them for a while until I can find a more profitable full-time position. That's right. You have a little five-year-old. And then how old's your baby? She's 10 months now. Yeah. So you got your hands full. Yes. Yeah. Lots to do. Well, thanks so much for gracing us with your presence. We appreciated it for these last, what was it, six I've months? Had Six months. Six that's months. A, that's Much a good too amount of time. short. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Sabrina. Uh -huh. All right, uh, let's go ahead and send it. To